So once again, down here at Revolution Automotive outside of Baltimore, Maryland, you know we're here to use their dyno and get one of our cars tuned. And today we're gonna get Gotta Have It Race up on the dyno and get it ready for the NMRA Ford Fest in Bowling Green. Now I realize a lot of you might not understand what a dyno is and how it works. Well, dyno stands for dynamometer and there's two different versions. You have an engine dyno, which requires the engine to be bolted to a frame, and then you have a chassis dyno. There's a couple different versions. You have hub dynos, wheel dynos. This is gonna be a dyno jet. And the way this works, Basically, it's a weighted wheel, and it uses an electric to slow the wheel down to put load on the car, basically to tell you how much torque the car is making. And by figuring out how much torque it makes, it translates to horsepower. Now, basically, there's a control box that runs everything, does all the electronics here, but at the end of the day, how fast do you spin these wheels? It's gonna tell you how much power your car makes. number huh. ironically this car has been here quite a bit over the years so this is run 87 um, this ended up being a fifth gear pool um, so we made high wheel speed which is why I cut it a little short here because we weren't too far into the tuning process but um, this run showed 428 horse and 387 torque to the rear tires um, this is with SAE correction factor uh, with smoothing five uh, the smoothing just makes it nice and pretty. We can get rid of the smoothing um, and you'll get to see all the peaks and valleys of it. And it actually usually shows a higher number. Um, this one is, actually isn't that bad, a naturally aspirated car, but you can see it's a little jagged, especially on the top. Um, power adder cars, this tends to be a bit more dramatic. So regardless of smoothing factor, we usually, uh, regardless of correction factor, we usually leave the smoothing at five. Um, SAE correction is what most of the OEMs use. It's the industry standard. It shows less than standard correction. Uh, the difference being between the two, SAE correction is based off of 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Standard correction is based off of 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So it tends to show a little bit higher power level. Dino Jet's nice, we can just grab the correction factor, put it at standard, which you see a lot of online, and voila, we picked up nine rear wheel horsepower just by doing that. What the car actually made today, taking out any correction factor, was actually a little lower, was 422. So that's why sometimes you'll see a car, if you dyno it in December, and it say it shows 440 to the tires, you go out to the track, it runs a number, but in June it runs three tenths slower, you're taking the correction factor out of it at the drag strip. There's no correction factor at the drag strip. On the dyno, we have that so we can compare results from different conditions. The devil's in the details when you're comparing numbers, and every dyno is different, every dyno manufacturer reads a little different, but having the correction factor and the smoothing um, is definitely something you want to look at when looking at the numbers. 